equal to positive R3, negative R3. And we still have the negative of the supply. So this is your schematic for total voltage. Don't forget to mute, guys, when you join. Don't forget to mute. So this is what? Total voltage. Now we are going to go and we are going to measure VR1. VR1. In case I am too fast, né? what you will do is when you are watching the video, you can actually slow it down. Né? You can slow down the video or you can just rewind and check which part you miss. So I'm going to delete this wire here. Um, I'm going to delete this wire here. I delete this wire here. Now we want to measure VR1. Remind me, guys, how do we measure VR1? The voltage must be parallel to the R1. So the volt, the voltmeter, the voltmeter goes, the positive of the voltmeter positive here. Yeah? The negative of the voltmeter goes negative of R1. Then we can measure. We can measure R1. So we measure R1 to be 2.94, right? Um, we, we do the same. We do the same for R2. We grab our voltmeter. I'm going to delete this cable here. I delete this cable here. I go to R2. For VR2, the positive of the meter goes on the positive of R2, and the negative of the meter goes negative of R2. Then we measure R and the voltage across R2, which is VR2, right? Um, do you see, guys? Do you see it's the same? You, you, do, do, you, do you see what is happening, guys? Yes. Okay. So now I'm, I'm going to delete this cable here. Um, remind me, guys, how do we measure the voltage across R3? The voltage across R3. Anybody? The voltage across R3. <laughs> Guys, the voltage across R3. We measure, we put the positive of our, of our voltmeter to the positive of R3. Yeah, so the positive of, of the voltmeter uh, goes to positive of R3 and the negative of the voltmeter goes to negative of R3, then we measure VR3, okay? So this is VR3.